Hey everybody, Asher here. Work is fun. Everything is on fire. It's time for more Star Sector. So thank you all for being here again. We are visiting the Shadow Yards, but as you may recall from last time, we have a pretty big fleet and a pretty big contingent of Marines, and we have some people that we've pissed off and some things that we'd like to do with it. I did go ahead and rename this uh, Phase Frigate the Peekaboo, so thank you uh, for the suggestion there. This ship is, uh, let's see here, it should be, oh, it's only well known. Well, that'll change because it turns out Tachyon Lance is still incredibly good with an officer. Now, we have a lot of interesting stuff going on here. We have some bounties that um, I may want to pick up just because we are in constant need of cash, um, especially with the kind of stuff that we've been building. Uh, this one's a little bit interesting. I'm kind of wanting to do it here. We have 79 days, but a bounty for a red star. Where is that? Red primary star in this constellation. Now, this was all originally inhabited. I think it might be here at Megaron, maybe, or it could be down at uh, Black Haas. There are um, some other primary stars, but some of these were already... Um, occupied before so i'm gonna try not to drag my feet too far also we need to make brighton mad at us again that was one of the goals is that we constantly go to war with brighton until they're eliminated now there's some people that obviously hate us and that's okay and brighton strangely is not one of them if we look at the diplomatic profiles here i don't look at the screen very much but it is interesting that supposedly we should be getting along because we have so many common foes, it almost looks like we could actually form into an alliance. But that's not what we're going to do. However, if I look back at the map again... Brighton used to be at Tile. Reparation Society took care of that. So that means that if we look in the Core Worlds, Brighton has been pushed out. They only have like their Magnetic World here. They have another Magnetic World somewhere. There's Oh, there we go. We could piss off Brighton down here. We also have an impending invasion. If I go back, this is a little bit easier to see here. Because the Persian League doesn't really like us, I think we may still have a Vengeance Fleet going after us. Um, it's, a, it's a good time. So, yeah. Let's just go ahead, dive in, get started. We're going to look for one of these two places. We're probably going to run into a Vengeance Fleet. We're going to see how it goes, because quite frankly... Um, are you really trying to pursue me? We did not do any illegal trading. I don't know what you're talking about. So that, that looks like it could be a Vengeance Fleet or some kind of fleet. Let's see what that is. Special Task Force Burke's Fleet. Okay, so they're not really angry at us. These guys, suddenly the Core World's not as, not as scary as it used to be, but we're just gonna um, move on up here. And I apologize if the sound is a little bit weird. I think these headphones that I have are kind of in their last dying breaths because now the volume, ever since I had to do a restart for a thunderstorm or something, the volume has been really low on them. So hopefully the microphone should be fine. The sound on uh, OBS looks like it's doing okay too, but man, I, I am not going to have any audio cues today right now because I can crank up the volume like hell. And it doesn't really work. You know, there's a better way to do this. Do we have an Azure world here? That's burnt. That's burnt. That's volcanic. So it's not even going to be here. Already, already a misplay. Let's restart the video. Um, is there an Azure world here? Irradiated. Legio. There we go. This should be where it is. So fun. Where was that? Down at the double star system. Avarice. Now that's not so bad. Um, now we still have good relations with the Kingdom of Terror. And I probably talked about some stuff before of things I wanted to do but quite frankly there's there's been a number of things going on in my life and some of them are the same things that have been going on in you all's life too hey vengeance fleet um and we're going to table that discussion for another day other than to say that there's been a lot going on with me between work and doom scrolling but we're going to take out our aggression here on um What's up here? So, hey guys, you don't know who I am somehow, even though you're coming right for me. Uh, this is this is an easy warm-up fight. Sounds like a great time to uh, have my ship be dismantled. So, let's let's bring some let's bring some buddies here. Okay, and once again, this is litany and prayer. 
And uh, I'm still not entirely convinced about the Lightspeed Plus. I may just bench it and go for a different um, ship. Yeah, this is probably way too many frigates, but I don't care. Let's deploy. Uh, I didn't say too many frigates, probably too many ships, but it's okay. So like I said, this is this is our warm up. Uh, the Persian League has been nice enough to throw me a little snack before we get started here. So let's go ahead and see how quickly I can use the spatial skimmer to get up here and fight. Now the last time when my ship got destroyed, it was kind of an interesting fight because, well, let's put it this way. I, let, I could have piloted another ship. I chose to let the AI do things, because at least in my experience in Star Sector, and you all can share your experience in the comments as well, but at least in my experience in Star Sector, there is a certain weight that comes with the player-controlled ship, and that will influence the movements of what the rest of the fleet tries to do, even if you're not ordering them to do that. So I feel a little bit like what happened on top of me, maybe not being on my A-game for... Um, commanding and controlling things we also have just the fact that my fleet didn't have like their little fat butted uh project casimir this thing to just stare at so there we go thanks uh bobby b for rear-ending me right now i think that's exactly what everyone needed just a little bit of comic relief we have our frigates over here and fortunately we are in a really good position where we can do the wolf pack tactics thing and we can go ahead and bring our people around have our tiny frigates up here to go after something big now this ship i can't actually get the camera to focus on it is not that far away and um i i love the conquest it's it's one of my favorite default ships um but it is very prone to getting obliterated by being surrounded so we're gonna do the rock forehead strategy of kind of sticking with the Star Eater, which I, I will, I promise, I will go and change and adjust the um, the work on, or the missiles on it, because that's still an issue. Right now, this guy is in a little, little bit of trouble. We have all you guys over here. I kind of just want to collapse on this ship. And at the same time, we can send you guys. And I know technically I shouldn't be doing the eliminate order on two different ships, especially this one. How fast is it? It's fairly, it's fairly fast. So this may drag the rest of my little frigates around, but we'll see. I, I want to tell the game to go ahead and give somebody a space hug. So let's start by casmiring this and getting a double hit. That's a really good start. Be really nice if I could hear this fight, but hey, I'll take it. We got a lobster in the background, but yeah, the conquest, it's really excellent in player hands if you're playing the vanilla game because you can put two totally different loadouts on it on either side and make that work but right there you saw the inherent weakness of it which is that if the computer doesn't know what it's doing and usually it doesn't then it gets out of position and then suddenly oh wow look i went backwards because that's where my momentum was going just like the comment section said um but yeah the conquest what ends up happening is that the ai is like hey by the way Oh, I'm, I was supposed to rename that ship too, I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to do this recording in between some court stuff that's going on, so I probably missed some stuff, and I apologize for that. Um, after this episode, I'm going to be having to do some off-camera like reworking stuff, so that'll be a good opportunity to make sure I don't miss out on naming things. But yeah, the conquest, like I was saying before, the AI... Ooh, wow, defense frigate. Uh, the AI will just sit there and not use its broadsides. It will try to forward march into people, and that doesn't work too well. So yeah, we have them, we have them scattered now. This is a uh, easy, easy going. If I could just actually aim my beams, or not get. Okay, so that was interesting. I actually ended up throwing this in the direction where the cursor is, which is also something else the comment section said. So let's try this again. Does this follow the cursor? Not really, but it points towards the cursor, so that's a plus. Okay, hopefully no friendly fire. And we have all these buddies down here. No. Well, we're definitely going to mop it up now, so easy, easy fight. The vengiest of vengeance fleets. For sure, for sure. Okay. And obviously, they're going to be so kind as to uh, send some other people after us. We'll, 
we'll try to deliver a message to him that says, don't do this again, please. So this is, this is more than enough. If we kill him, we kill him. If we don't, we don't. And they, they have a fuel tanker that survived to tell the tale. I want them to know that I want them to know that it was me. Okay, so there's our, uh, those regular glimmers. That's, uh, that's not the regular glimmer I was thinking of. Anyway, we recover those. And any wreckage today, like just some weapons and crap, it's fine. It's fuel. Hey, conquest. Now I got a question in one of my older videos for this is, um, can't I just like sell these ships? If you buy them, they're worth quite a bit. If we sell them, not so much. Um, and part of that is because their hull integrity, their combat readiness, the amount of uh, material that they have in there all doesn't work out very well. So let's actually see if we can go into a friendly port and demonstrate this. I know this is a old, old, a question from an old video in a series from a while ago. It's not even from this series, but see, this has, this has no guns on it. Like I said, what you can really do with the conquest is uh, put a put one set of guns for like shooting at shields and one set of guns for shooting at armor. Plus it has heavy ballistics integration if you can work that really well. But we're just gonna try to sell this today just for the glorious old cash considerations. Does Legio hate us? Uh, probably not enough to not sell a ship. We'll find out in a second. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. This is where we wanna go. All right. So, were you really gonna try to, what's the word for it? Inter interdiction pulse. That's that's where I need to learn to read the tooltips and say what things actually are. So we have we have a fleet over here. We have a ping over here. It's Vic. They're friendly. They're raiding. We are definitely not building an outpost there. So there should be a bounty over here as well, unless it's already been destroyed. And that's possible because this is an inhabited system that's already been destroyed. Uh, posted a bounty for Reestruv, a notorious pirate, hiding near an Azura, Azura planet. I bet this is what's going on with it. Because, well, you know what? This will it'll actually change here. In the Sassine constellation. So it's not here. Well, red primary stars. We don't have a lot left. Ugh. Uh, okay. This happens sometimes too, where your bounties just don't work out. But it should be in this nebula. There's not, there's not too many things that we can do. So we have, a, we have a lot of pirates over here. Okay, so y'all are preparing for patrol duty. You're standing down. Yeah, well, let's, let's do this real quick. So trade higher things if we try to if we try to sell like a conquest costs about what is it like it, it's pretty expensive only sells for 5,000 credits if we look at some of these other big ships under here some we've bought for msrp they have fuller combat readiness for the hull integrity you get more but even like the star eater which costs a crap metric ton to build out. With all those weapons, you're only getting 319. Um, as I've demonstrated in other videos before, don't be planning on making your money by selling ships. It it It's just not, not the way to make money in this game. Maybe there's some mods that can adjust it, but this is not one of them. So let's see here. Can we... Do we need to buy any fuel? I mean, that price isn't bad. I'll just buy it on the open market. Um... Yeah, so I guess this bounty, this bounty isn't working out. That's okay. I think our money situation still sucks, if I remember right, because we have a bunch of unpaid debt. We're about to need to actually pay that debt at the end of this month, or we're going to um, lose some people. So remember what I said before about not selling everything? I'm going to sell everything. Not these, not those. We don't really need the ship components. We could technically jettison some of this crew. I will keep these things and sell the rest. But anything just to have some bonus money at the end of the day. All right, so if that bounty doesn't work, we have another bounty up here. 
That looks like another thing we can do. That one seems pretty interesting. It has an uh, elite battleship here. Some Doom Cruisers are a little scary, but this is the kind of thing I should be able to take. Black Hole and the Newton system here. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. And I, I'm just kind of itching for a fight. That is a good payday. We have a little bit of time before we get invaded by the Persian League. Fairly strong, two fleets. We have one of the reasons that we were good on money and then not so good is that I've been trying to invest in my colonies, like finally getting a better um, orbital station here is a big deal for ship defense purposes. And uh, also this place is making me money as well. I've gotten a lot of great suggestions for things to do, especially with Hantu Raya. But for now, we're just going to have to pay the hazard pay so that it can grow at a reasonable rate. Although one thing that I wouldn't mind building here, technically a Vic Revitalization Center is something I should build. Um, but we also have the potential for a Cryo Revival Facility that could work really well on this planet because it's only colony size 3. But we'll, um, we'll table that for another day. Let's... Um, you're defending this place. Congratulations. Good for you. Like I said, I think that may have been where the bounty was, or maybe I totally whiffed and missed it. It's fine. All right. Let's skedaddle. I don't want these guys fighting, but for now, there's only so much I can do. Oh, our raid failed. Cool. Okay. We can survey a barren world for Brighton and get our reputation even higher. It's in the wrong direction. Technically, I could accept it and not do it. And that'll hurt my reputation. Let's do it. Let's prank them and say, hey, guys, we're going to um, we're gonna do this job for you. And Brighton's like, great, will you join our alliance? And then we just backstab them. Okay, special task group, Escher. Okay, now that's probably is actually tri attack, But I do enjoy that um, the tri attack uh, fleets sometimes are actually Starlight Cabal fleets. Ceasefire offer with the hegemony. I will accept that. We always say F the hegemony in this save, in this series, and any Star Sector series. It was kind of one of the reasons I was glad the Vic kicked me out is that I didn't have to play nice with the hegemony, but I have other things to do, including cheesy mac and cheese repairing the erratic fuel injector, meaning the Star Skipper is still waiting to repair while cheesy mac is uh, just having a good day. And look at that, monthly expenses. How much unpaid debt do we have? I see all these memes on the Star Sector subreddit that are like, oh good, we actually paid off our debt. Um, but I see all these memes of just like, hey, look, income, what's that? It's like, yeah. If any of y'all seen me play, you know that uh, income is just a suggestion. Now granted, there are things that I am like trying to do. If we can see production report here, did we finally build those ships? I need to like sing the ABCs here. Yes, yeah, so our production, 92,000. Um, and if we look at our um, custom production here, we still have the Halbmon and all this stuff. So we need to be making money so that we can make ships. And this is some of the last homebrew ships that we're going to be making, which is one of the other reasons that I do want to, in fact, do this instead of running home real fast to fight an invasion. There is a contract that I can do closer to home, and I should have checked the time frame because I accepted it a while ago. Okay, I should still have time to do this. Cool. Okay, so we're just going to go north, go south. We're not going to do Project Genesis right now. We're close to being able to do that. Probably we could do it with this fleet, but... I have other things on my mind, and honestly, when I do something like that kind of fight, I want to be in a better mental space than I am today, because it is um, me trying to fit this recording in that I've been wanting to do for a while, between a bunch of work stuff, and some distance away from the black hole. Well, that's um, it's not my favorite. Um, we'll see. You know what? We'll see if it's down here. That counts as some distance away. All right. First off, we can check here and make sure that this is the right system. So, bounties. 
Beta Newton, so we're there. That changes. That's how I know. That's how I knew that uh, Cathan or Alvis technically. If this has, if this actually has an Azure world and I missed it, that would be so typical of me. But I really, okay, I didn't miss it. Okay, so we're just gonna ping a ping a ping. Hope for the best. It could be near any of these fringe jump points. I think this is the one where I found the Halbmond originally. So let's see if um, we take control of the relay here. We'll install a comm sniffer as well. We're going to sniff our own comms. That either seems like good hygiene or really gross. But remember, for those of you who maybe are joining in later in the series here, we are trying to make nice with the pirates. It's something I haven't really done as much in Star Sector before. And um, Desalt Mikian is now at war with these other people. That's uh, not my favorite, but we're, we're working towards peace one faction at a time. And right now, it's the Persian League that is um, on my shit list. We're not going to break that for salvage. Anything we can do to move faster. Okay, so they could be in the nebula. This is this is one of the problems with bounties being some distance away. Is that all we can do is scan, scan, scan. We have 33 days left. Oh, time, time, time. Simon and Garfunkel certainly had something to say about that. Okay, so if we've spun around, if we've spun our wheels all this way to not get the bounty, it's going to be a sad, sad affair. That's probably it. Okay. Hey, some distance away? Hey, look, it's a three-star fight. It's a lot of carriers. We can eat carriers for, um, like, lunch. Lunch, probably something I should have. All right, so we have our beacon off, right? Um, we're going to hit the all button here, but we're not going to bring everything in just yet. Um, let's let's park Cheesy McCheese, and let's park um, the Estacy for now, because we need to bring in some of these little guys. If we're going to do the wolf pack thing, we've got to like really really do the wolf pack thing and I'm almost wondering if I should increase the deployment points even more but technically as I hire more officers because I increase that cap I'll get a little more of the share plus as you've already seen we can always just drag in other ships into the fight if it comes down to it so kind of the same same deal here we're in this for the money there's a shit ton of carriers I should be good against carriers, but I've really got to watch and make sure I don't get surrounded by stuff. We've seen my reliance on um, the Vic sort of proximity lightning bolt thing. That lets you get swarmed really hard. So a lot of these auto builds have pretty good defenses. I let that ship go back to more of a default build and it's worked pretty well. Ugg can just punch things out. I'm interested to see how this bounty goes. Because it's three stars, but I think it's three stars because of the really big scary ship instead of some of the other things. Plus, I wouldn't mind having that as a trophy. The Conquest, I don't care as much about. Obviously, because I sold it. But we do want to have a little bit of money here. We want to let our people have a chance to meet up. And if we get sent a bunch of waves of little ships early we can start shooting them down and that'll slow down their production later although with the astral sitting out there i'm not entirely sure how useful that is there we go oh my goodness i did not catch what kind of ship this is this is a fourth battle fleet fourth battle fleet is real shit this is a this is a bad bad mf -er to fight so I really want to try to capture this if I can. Um, it, as you can see, it has a lot of hull integrity. It has an Omni Shield. It has some pretty big bays. I don't know what that means, but it's probably really good. Only 55 deployment points. 
Uh, that is a super capital. We also have some doom squad over here. So we're gonna try to um, we're gonna try to overwhelm it. But we need we need our people to uh, catch up here. Because right now we've we've got a bunch of we got a bunch of little guys. If you can outrun your support, that would just be great. Like the dooms, we're gonna have to pressure. So this is this is gonna be pretty interesting because we have. One line versus the other line. We're kind of here. Let's go ahead and split up our forces a little bit. If we put you guys, put all you guys kind of up here, and we spread you, ooh, we could actually have you guys take on the astral. That would be pretty nice. We can go ahead and ditch this. Wouldn't mind having you guys go up here as well. And then if we take our big ships down here, like these guys are a little slow, but they're not too slow. I just want to spread them out just a little bit. So if we go like that, I'm going to support the Star Eater in the south. So they've got their whole shit clumped up right now. But I want to see if I can get the um, trophy. Okay, let's, as usual, let me just go ahead and just teleport myself. Ooh, they're actually jumping into the engagement really hard okay there we go is that a flamethrower probably don't want to be flamethrown right now um there we go okay we're getting we're getting doom mined that's that's a problem and uh tony's doing his best we're actually pressuring the doom really well the problem is that we didn't want to be taking on the doom first so we've got this down here. We've got to go ahead and reinforce. So that didn't work out very well. Let's get all you guys to um, eliminate this. And we are doing the eliminate order because the Astral is going to be doing a lot of backline support. And you guys. Can we have you all cut in here? Like, I think this is okay. Can probably get rid of that waypoint and move it up just a little bit. But yeah, all the carriers here are a little bit of a issue. Okay, where where's my ship? There's my ship. All right, so we have, I'm gonna go for the Casimir shot. Nice. Okay, so we got that down. I just really don't wanna be doomed right now. And I don't wanna be stuck in the front. So there we go. Our, our super capital versus their super capital. I'm getting fired on, which sucks a little bit, but I can take the hits. Okay, maybe not the flamethrower hit, but there's a rock forehead doing his thing. I'm kind of tunnel visioning right now, so let's take a look. Oh, they brought in reinforcements. Okay. So the astral was destroyed. Awesome. Okay, so wolf pack worked out. And these are, this is what I'm talking about, is that the engagements are okay because we can just bring in other things um, too. And this is kind of the old way to play. Let's bring you all on this Doom. Let's see how that goes. Um, no, let's bring you all on this. That's fine. We're not going to eliminate the Doom right now. We'll wait. Um, yeah, I think if we can get your shit down, we may be okay here. That's pretty damn scary to take this on 1v1. It's like it's pointing its guns at me. I don't really like that very much. Really needed that shot to hit. Okay. This is this is what I was talking about before. Having my people... Oh, no! But having my people decide, you know, we're just going to run at you from behind. That's, uh, that's not my favorite. Fortunately, we did not get exploded out of the sky, so... Uh, the blue shift, we want that ship. We will, we will keep it every time. That's an incredibly strong ship. I can't believe... We're gonna call that a 1v1 on a um, Heron. Nothing to see here. I'm not dead yet. We have the big fleet up here. Oh my god, I almost want to know what, you, what the hell you're doing here. 
I guess you're just punching out a tiny frigate. Okay, that means you're not dying. We're having 1v1 phase fights here. I'd really rather... Um, your hull's not doing great. Let's have you follow the Star Eater. And the Star Eater... You guys are going up here. That's fine. We could, we're almost at full assault time. Um, we need to bring all you guys over to take on this stuff. But once again, the, the doom is the issue here. So maybe we can punch out the doom. I think that ship's a little slow to do it, but we'll see. All right. So look at the Fresnel. That's not what it's called. But look at it getting surrounded. Like, we got a bunch of little destroyers here. And, uh, did we accidentally double speed, or am I just going fast in my brain? Nope, that's double speed. Alright. So, that's a, that's a murder-death kill. Um, here's another one. Oh, we actually got him! All right. Oh, the poor ad saying, fuck me. All right, well, this is this is mop-up duty time. We have 13 points that we can bring in. She's not dead, somehow. Um, yeah. So we should be able to uh, collect payment here. And uh, that's nice. So that's another thing is that the... Um, I'm kind of two minds about this fight. One is that the game rates carriers really high, but doesn't and, and like the little pre-combat stuff, but it doesn't always play the carriers very well. Like that Astral didn't have much of a chance to affect the fight because it outran its support. But on the other hand, that big ass ship was scary as hell. So even though we were able to get an appropriate position for it, um, we're still getting paid. All right, so combat results versus the pirates. The Doom actually escaped, so we're going to pursue them. Um, I think I will just let the second in command handle it because our bounties. Yeah, we'll. we'll um... Second in command, let's go. Send all you guys out. Send in the clowns. We did lose an ads, so that's a little. It's a little annoying, but it's fine. Who's fast? You're not fast. You're pretty fast. All right. So, did we did we get the doom? Um. All right. Fortunately, you're all recoverable. Hooray. Ugh. Doesn't look like we have the uh, really nice ship recoverable, so that's too bad. And it looks like we did destroy their shit, so that's good. Pick through the wreckage. What do you get? Just gonna take it all. Because we're actually in need of supplies all of a sudden. So, that's a scarab. So that's too bad. We got a lot of money. We didn't get the grand prize, which was that beautiful, beautiful ship. But we'll make it work. How many days do we have left here? 45 days. Um, Gamma Bellatraff. Once again with some distance away is not my favorite but it is a tiny star like if we do the map thing this is the map button we can actually ride straight down here and make it over there and it should be somewhere just outside the ring all right so scarab's fine i want to look at that fight summary because the star eater definitely did some great punching here i'm really sad we couldn't get that ship but it's okay um, Star Eater definitely doing some work. The Zwillig's doing some good stuff here. I didn't embarrass myself. The Star Skipper doing some great backline cleanup. Electronic Donic with the Beta Core doing excellent work. Prize in High Orbit. I'm supposed to change the name of that to, um, like Thornbush or something. I'm very sorry. I remember the comment and I remember to change one name and not the other. It's, it's, um, it's been a week. But yeah, there's Peekaboo. Peekaboo with the Tachyon Lance showing up here. Cheesy McCheese coming in late and doing some work. Um, yeah, so there's some money that's going to get eaten by our custom production, but my big goal here is just to make sure, ooh, 
is that we are not rolling in debt too hard. So let's um, get going to the next place because we're going to need to get some supplies from somebody. And that somebody might actually be... We could go after Yig. Cyanation hates us, right? Yeah, we can uh, we can just do a pit stop right here. We have bought supplies from them before. This time we're gonna um, do a little a little bit more of a curated purchase. So Alkali World. Yeah, if we just uh, press this button for story reasons, the uh, transverse jump. Nobody else can do this technique. It's just us. How unfair is that? Okay, so mining, hostile, engaged in battle. Well, who are you battling? Whoever it is, hopefully they can just let us go in here. Um, consider your military options. Um, we can't engage the defenders because they are already engaged by pirate raiders, but we can totally go after some supplies, right? 300 some supplies is not great, but it does hurt them. So, before we do that, are they actually going to let us buy stuff? Only on the black market. So, that's an okay cost. We're okay on fuel, but that's an okay cost. Um, we're not great on crew. That's a... I'll buy it at a high price. That's not that high of a price. Okay, these prices suck. I should have dropped off some heavy armaments at the... Um, colony that I was at, but whatever. It's probably going to flip some of those for extra money now that I think about it. But we'll just hold on to it for um, attacking stuff because this helps This helps the raid. Um, let's see here. So military options, um, acquire valuables. Like I said, this is not a ton. But what are, what are we really going to do here? Get this stuff? Don't need ship equipment. Don't need 54 stuff here we're just we're just we're being we're being a bully we're taking all their supplies we lost 211 marines which sucks but we have it's less payroll that's not what we want to think about this with okay so we have a bunch of derelict ships here you guys are there this patrol's like fuck no i don't get paid for that okay interdiction pulse um, unloading cargo and disabling. Well, I am. I could fight them and try to take their cargo, but we're just gonna go for the mission here. Gas giant. Ho ho ho! Gas giant. Um, for seventy thousand, sure I'll accept it. If I do it, I do it. If I don't, then Cyanation can just be even matter at me. Invasion at Grimsoros Dock. Um, I'll let Diable figure that out. I got some really good discussion in the comments about what I should be doing versus um, what I am doing for like the colonies and stuff here. The the way, okay, we only owe a thousand, that's fine. But the, the way I kind of came down on it was that I'm not in an alliance right now. So it feels very gamey for me to just turn around and try to give my shit to an unallied un like partner here, like a Dassault Mikian. Um, 87 crew. Do we want this? Nah. Just salvage. Alright. So at this time, we're just going to try to let people fend and be independent. The big thing is that I want to take down the big players. Things like the Persian League. Those are the kind of opponents that are most likely to unsettle the peace here. And unfortunately, this slipstream is going the wrong way, so we're just going to hug, hug this. How many days do I have left on the mission? Accepted... I mean, you know, I could be clicking on this important button, but when everything's important, nothing is important. So, um, yeah, I think that invasion may not work out very well. Um, the invasion force is somewhat weak. We could live through that. I could totally just try to push them off. Ah, uh, damn it. How many days do we have left? Um, 32 days. Ugh. We're going to do this first. Stupid responsibilities. All right. 
the thing is, once again, we don't have a ton of supplies. So this is going to be a little bit dangerous. It's going to be a kind of dangerous maneuver. We're going to need to figure out if there's another place I can grab some supplies from. And it's probably not Zuin, to be honest. Could be could be either of these, because Diable hates us too, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go here, go here, and then we'll pop in this way. And we will hit a slipstream that'll help us out. So we may not lose too much time at the end of this. All right, big thing is that we've just got to be the responsible adult. You're a company armada that's patrolling. You're lucky I have other shit to do today. I love that they decided to patrol into the other direction. Well, chicken shit. All right. So there's a slipstream. This is where we want to be, right? So they're over at the docks. There is no jump points, so we got to go in from here. Um, we're going to keep the transponder off because whatevs. Huh! Well, we do need supplies. Hey, buddy. All right. We don't need everybody. We just need... We just need enough. Because we may have a bigger fight here in just a second. Okay, this should be... This should be okay. Not the fight I was expecting when I came into the system, but adventures and babysitting, I guess. We can definitely deploy more ships if it comes down to it. Because this is supposed to be like a civilian fleet or some shit at this point. Things get really bad, I guess we just figure it out because that's what that's what we've been doing in the save just bullshitting until we make it and then once we make it figure out how we're getting to the next move what is the long-term plan here it's to uh, bring peace and tranquility the, the matter is how so we're parking illegally in uh, space here I try to bring some faster ships so everyone can catch up it's all fine. Nothing is not on fire. I don't really care as much about these. We kind of do want to capture it though. So here's their shit versus my shit. And it looks like they actually have some more serious stuff. So let's uh, let's drag you guys out and here. You guys should be able to catch up a little bit faster. Alright, so don't like that start. Let's bring everybody over here. We're just going to try to eliminate this, this friend. And you guys are like, yeah, what are we doing? I'm going to send you guys up here because we're going to try to push the fight over in this direction. Okay. I love that gun. I don't know if it's any good, but I love it anyway. Okay, that's, um, that's a warning shot. I'd really prefer to not be in their line of fire. Okay, so we're spreading them out a little bit. I'm getting missile in my flank. Gotta try to lead them a little bit. And then not overvent. Okay, no! What are you, the Star Eater is not supposed to be taking that. No. Star Eater, get your get your stupid butt up here. Okay, so we have successfully spread them out. That's good. In fact, we're kind of just gonna do a crackback maneuver. We'll go back over here, eliminate this. Take the eliminate order off of this. Take the eliminate order off of this. Let's get it. Let's get everybody up here, and that way, now that we've spread them out, we can kind of take the fights at a, f a few spaces at a time. 
And I think my engines are disabled, so that's probably not the best. Let's just let's just shove the destroyer up to the front. I think that's a really terrible plan. Alright. Okay, so we're here. Oh boy! Not good. Trying to get out of the fight and uh, failing. So we vent. We're currently blocking um, other shots here that I'd rather not be blocking. Here comes our reinforcements. All this for supplies, but at what cost? Because now we've de we've definitely got them outgunned. And that's a Gemini. That's not ours, so... Yeah, I think... I think this second wave probably could have been the first wave. And we'd be okay. I see a Heron just sitting... Oh, we got a... Oh, we got an Apogee trying to drop in on the back, too, so... You guys who are not doing a lot on the back line, let's, let's hit that. Okie doke. Okay. Gotta watch my tiny ass shield. Alright. So I'm not dead. That died really fast. Wow! What is this fight? Their, like, entire fleet just decided, you know what, we're just going to surround you. They, like, literally sent people all the way around. If you not participate in the cleansing, you will not share the bounty. Yeah, I guess so. So all these guys are now up here. Guess we just send our big guns back down here, because all those guys are about to retreat. All right, cool. That worked out in, complete, in a completely unexpected way. We want to be able to get the supply ships, so that's okay. I think we can speed this up a little bit. Let's see what we got over here. Oop, maybe a little too fast. Okay, we should we should have this. We may be able to one v one this. Nope, somebody else did the dirty work. All right. And then we got all these we got all these runners over here. It's mop up time. Now we now we speed up. Okay, so everybody's everybody's having a good day in the Persian League, right? I think we're almost done. There we go. All right, so they're trying to run. The uh, supply ships are what we want, and we're going to uh, take command of the action here for sure. All right, who's fast? You're fast. You guys are all fast. Remember, with tiny frigates, you can deploy to the left or the right. So we just all we want to do is to have these intercept the big the big shit. Yeah, your destroyers, you cannot be specially deployed. All right, that should be fine. We'll send you two. Okay. So you guys go here. You guys go here. And hopefully this whole runaway crew with a bunch of uh, mothballed ships will be dinner. Fuel tanker. That's dead. Venture. That's also dead. It's like the bonus level of the whole game. So you guys are gonna go right here. Let's let's send y'all a little bit further in. You guys can like just plug the middle. One, two, three. Watch my flux. Okay, gotta watch.
stretch my hull here. Shields up. Alright. This is like taking candy from the Persian Empire. Persian League. Did I just accidentally destroy one of my friends? I did. Damn it. Okay, peekaboo. Sorry! It's not friendly fire if you're stupidly engaging, like, real close. We should be able to repair that, though, right? Okay. And they're getting one shuttle away. Let's see if we can catch it. I don't think we're going to catch it. There's a kite. Did they retreat? Oh, got him. All right. That kite's also gone. All right. So they had a shepherd retreat so they can properly survey planets. All right, ship recovery, embarrassing, but no long-term damage. We could take some of this stuff, but it's not its not really what I wanted, so. Recover, vengeful. Pick through the wreckage and we got, we got a lot of shit. Nice. Okay, and we're actually, we're actually full on, but okay. Double tap, ship recovery, no. All right, and we are probably over, over by a lot now. All right. So what were we here for? Grim Shadow stocks. We gotta stop the invasion force, maybe, possibly. Ugh, we're going so slow. Invasion forces, whoa. Okay. So I hate doing this, because I'm not trying to leave it on a cliffhanger, but. I don't have time to do a battle this big. I was not expecting a fight this big. It only said two fleets. So we're going to start by trying to clean up this mess. We'll see if we can get this <laughs> this stuff here. Our money situation continues to dwindle. But once again, I appreciate you all being here, sticking with the series. Um, I did see another player that I like watching, uh, Nukurum. I hate it if I just mispronounced that. He just started another Star Sector series. His stuff's really good. If you're not subscribed to him, so you should check him out as well. I know Wade Star plays Star Sector as well, but it's just going to be the same with this as with uh, War Tales. It's just as I'm able to get this stuff out, I'm going to try to get it out. But um, I will be starting up a ooh news time, starting up a Discord here in the near future, so that even if I'm not able to put up videos at the clip that I have been before that we can at least talk and you can see how I'm doing. I can see how y'all are doing and we can have a grand old time. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. I'm sure I asked some clever questions before. Tell me what I forgot about from the last episode, because I'm sure there was something important that I'm missing. Uh, but thank you again. You all are awesome. See you next time.